All right, guys, so before we kick off details about this specific travel trailer, I want to give you an update. So if you saw my video at RVX, I walked through this travel trailer without even knowing that it was a pre-production model that wasn't even released yet. And I had so many comments, probably nearly 400 comments from people that had either emailed me or posted on the video asking what this was, what model number it was. They wanted to know more about it. And I looked back through the video footage. I tried to see if there was a model number anywhere and I couldn't find anything. So today, here in Elkhart, I am taking a closer look at this because this is the same unit, or at least the same model, that they had out there, and I have an opportunity to speak to some of the nice folks here at Land. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so I am here with Scott. He is with Lance, and first of all, so nobody gets confused, what is the model number on this specific travel trailer? This is the 2075 non-slide travel trailer. Yep. This will be um, in production in a couple months. Um, pretty unique travel trailer. Uh, we first started building trailers. All of our trailers were non-slides. Then we went to all slide-out floor plans. We've had a lot of people ask for us to build a unit with no slide-out. And uh, this is a walk-around queen bed, um, rear dinette, so you have the big windows in the back. Um, great model for tailgating, camping out here with the outside kitchen. This kitchen will slide in and out. And you can see the extra storage under here where you can put your travel, or your lawn chairs, your camping chairs under here. Uh, gives you a great storage area. Stove, sink, this pulls out, will slide in. Also have a nice little fridge here on the oh, door wow. that pulls out. This is a Dometic uh, refrigerator. A lot of counter space here for, for prepping your food. And then, of course, this window is going to open up. So this is an acrylic window that will open up. You'll have a screen and shade that come down here. If you want to hand any items mm -hmm. out here for cooking, the side windows open as well. And you got an awning above it with lights. Power awning. It's a latitude awning so we can have the full width of the back. It'll come out. It's going to have a little wind sensor on it, too. So it's going to give you shade in this back area, keep you from getting wet if it's a rainy day from cooking. So like I say, great um, uh, prep your food outside for camping or tailgating. Really nice unit. You know, I love these acrylic windows, and I'm glad that they're starting to become more popular here in the States because I know they've been used in Europe for quite some time. But here in the States, they offer a lot of benefits. They're dual pane. They have a lot of really good heat rejection technology baked into them. And they tilt out, give you a tremendous amount of airflow. Just really good technology. So it's good to see that you guys are equipping this Lance unit with these windows. Right. We use them in a couple floor plans. Uh, the window's a little bit lighter. But like you say, it's really well insulated. Uh, it's a really, all their customers that uh, purchase either the 14, the 15, the 2075 with these windows, they love them because the way you can open them up, the screen and shade, how they come down. Mm -hmm. um, they've upgraded the shades over the years, and this has the new blinds in them. Um, and again, really well insulated. Right. Let's take a look at some of these other features. Okay, so what are you showing me up here? So this is a uh, pass-through storage compartment. This unit's going to have a pull-out tray. So items that you put back that you wouldn't be able to reach, you can access them. It's a plastic tub, really easy to clean. If you want wet hoses, camping gear, uh, comes out, puts in. Slam latch door. Oh, one thing else I noticed too, just the thickness of your doors. You're using right. the much thicker baggage doors. Insulated door, you've got the magnet latch. So if your items in one hand, you can open and close it with one hand, pop it open, pull your tray out. So yes, insulated door, easy to operate. Yep. One key uh, lock, so your, your lock on your um, entry door is the same for your compartment door. Okay. So it makes it easy not having three or four locks there. This is your battery compartment, so we've taken the batteries off the tongue. So we have a pull-out tray, one on each side. This particular unit has a Go power lithium battery, which we're going to offer for an option this year. Two lithium batteries. You can do an inverter and a solar panel. Okay. So that's that's a new feature that we're going to offer this year as an option on our units. This has got a pull-out tray, so easy access. Oh, yeah. Easy to get to. Locking door. So you know, with a lithium battery for the cost of those batteries, or some of the people going to upgraded batteries. You're not going to have anybody steal them because you're going to have a lock right yep, here. Yep, that's true. So off the tongue. So we have three propane tanks on the front. 
you have two tied together and then you have one spare. Okay. So it gives you access taking the batteries off the tongue, give us capability to put three propane tanks. Very nice cover too, very nicely integrated. And I see you have the LCI Smart Jack on there as well. We've been using that for a while, it's been a good jack for us. Uh, the other new feature here is this, the sky gazer window as we call it. As you're laying in bed you can look out, you can see the stars at night. This window is going to open, so this window will open up this way with an acrylic window. Oh wow. Um, makes it really nice getting a little more breeze in here. So the side windows will open and then you'll have this window open with a screen and shade can come down as well. Very nice. We have closed off this pass-through storage compartment here and we've put an added a vented door. That's a new feature that we just started um, in our production. So you can put a portable generator in mm -hmm. here. Uh, the 2000 watt, 2200 watt portable generators are really popular right now. That's gonna fit in there and they're really quiet. Again, vented door, storage area for that generator. This is the other side of the Your battery bank. Battery box. So you'd have two batteries, one on each side. Again, a pull-out tray. Yeah. Large windows on the side. Now these windows are going to open as well. So you can open them. Um, adjust them so you have the large windows. So when you walk in here, you're going to get a lot of light in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. From the window in the front, window in the side. As you open them, you're going to have the screen and shade. That yeah, good cross ventilation as well. Note real quick, I notice you guys have torsion axles and the Goodyear Endurance tires. That is definitely something worth noticing because cheap tires lead to bad results sometimes when you're towing. Exactly. Torsion axles are also very nice. Another little cargo area storage area here. Um, some coin flooring in here, rubber flooring, so if you're throwing items in here, you're not going to scratch anything up. But you'll notice how everything's trimmed out really nice here. And one thing that's really nice as well is, so you could have easily said, let's not put storage here because we have this stuff going on. But I like the fact that even though you have this area that might protrude into the storage slightly, you still let people decide what they want to put in this area, because that's important. Right, exactly. having the space to put something like maybe your power cord or other things that you don't want to put in your front storage is important. I like how you've accomplished that and you didn't just give up space because you said, oh well, this is gonna stick out. You still offered that as a place for people to put cargo. We're building truck campers for as long as we have for 55 years. In truck campers, you're very limited in storage. Yep. So you gotta, get, you gotta get really creative. That's true. Uh, so we use every uh, usable space here, whether it be interior or exterior storage that we can find. There's another little box over here that opens up. So you'll have this uh, utility box that we added just recently on our units. A great spot for um, hose adapters for your oh, sewer yeah. hose or some tools or whatever you want to put in here. Just add another little storage area yeah. in here. Uh, otherwise, it'd be dead space and you're using it. I can appreciate that. I see how you have your uh, power stab jacks for stabilization as well. Yep. So these are, that's an option. You can do manual crank, you can do power jacks. Uh, the power stabilizer jacks is an option. Uh, power front tongue jack is an option. So is this, so the Cub blind spot detection system, I actually had a chance to evaluate this. Unfortunately, I didn't have the ability to put it on my fifth wheel, but my question is, um, is this gonna be an option on this specific model as well, blind spot detection? We're looking at it. Okay. Um, that hasn't been determined yet, but again, we've, this being a prototype, we added some new items on here that um, are gonna be, the, the cup system, we're looking at that. Uh, it's getting pretty popular. You'll, you'll see a lot of that um, for new vehicles where you'll see the blind spot and it really helps. So it, it is popular. So we're looking at that. Okay. We'll go in the front bedroom here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and walk inside. Take a look at the front bedroom area here. There are people that are moving in and out of these units all day, so I don't wanna disrupt that too much. This is a really nice front bedroom area. And he is demonstrating how you can open up this acrylic window to let some air flow through here. I absolutely love this whole skylight and front window area. This is really nice. And just the interior, you have a really nice sense of quality with this entire interior. So what are you demonstrating here? So these interior walls, we have a solid plywood interior walls. So you go into interior, if you look at interior walls around bathrooms, um, and you push on the wall, yeah. you'll see that there's Flex. Really not a lot yeah, there. Yeah, there's not bad. So with, when I pull out the drawer, I'll show you kind of some of the uh, 
um, workmanship that we do for our drawers. We cut everything with CNC machines, so you don't see a lot of gip molding, you know, where the cabinet or the wall is going to meet the ceiling or the floor. So with the CNC machine, it cuts it's almost zero tolerance. Mm -hmm. um, so if you'll, you'll look where the cabinet, where this wall meets the floor, you know, there's no trim molding here. Yeah. Um, th that's the big benefit to a CNC machine. The holes that we have here for our windows, they're always cut precise. Um, front windows, rear windows, windows just fit perfect. Yeah, and it looks really nice too. It's trimmed off really nice. It has a very nice high end and more importantly, quality look and feel to it, everything. This is a Serta pillow top mattress, a good quality mattress. Yeah, you don't have to swap your mattress out the day after you get it. If you look at the type of wood we use in, under the bed as well, mm -hmm. this is our light ply. Oh yeah, and it's trimmed off too. It's a big difference between some. And then you'll feel that little felt that we use under here softens this up as you're putting it down. This unit's equipped with a with the optional um, inverter. It has a 1500 okay. watt inverter and with the battery package. Okay, going into the bathroom area, it's actually a good sized bathroom. You have a nice kind of bowl sink here, as well as a good mirror and medicine cabinet. Good sized shower stall, as well as kind of a curved shower curtain up here. Foot flush toilet, and you have plenty of room in front of it. So because they've angled it here, you have about two and a half to three feet of room in front of the toilet. So it's a really good sized bathroom for a relatively small travel trailer. Okay, you wanted to mention something about this specific unit being a prototype? Yeah, this is a prototype model. So this unit is actually gonna be stretched um, about another foot, foot and a half to allow us to put a bigger fridge in here. Um, if you take a look over here, there's going to be like a outlet here for a, a coffee maker, but we're going to end up putting a microwave in here. So you have a microwave, okay. three burner stove here. So some of those are some of the changes that are going to happen. All this in the back is going to be the same. So we have our U-shaped dinette in the back. Telescoping table. Oh, that's really cool. Table's going to slide this way. We'll just drop down for the bed. We're going to have a Bluetooth speaker that will mount on the back. Okay. For inside and outside, it's going to have a charging port here. We'll latch right in here, so we'll charge. You can listen to music here as well. Again, with our TV, it's going to have a swing out arm, so this will be able to swing out, so you'll be able to see it from oh, yeah. the dining area. Good. And it's a 12 volt. LED TV. Something very common too with Lance is all this storage. You got storage here, you got storage here, you got more storage all the way around. And I love the adjustability the of it too. Here is too. Yeah, that <laughs> is creative. Soft close. Very nice. Adjustable shelves here. So I see something here. Looks like that lifts up. What are we Let's looking at? Storage area here. Um, oh wow. Let's give you some extra storage back in this area. No wasted space, huh? Very nice. And I see the uh, second sunroof you have back here that looks like it also props up. This will open up. We use these in our truck campers as well. Now that is nice. All that breeze, you can feel it in. come in, yeah. So you have a, you're going to have a screen and shade here. Again, we're looking at, uh, this is the prototype. A few of these things may change. We've added this. This is something we've added that our truck campers above the bed. Again, you have the acrylic window, really well insulated, plastic frameworks, and then we're getting sweating or condensation around there. A lot of storage in the back, good quality hinges. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of storage in this little travel trailer. Oh yeah, definitely. Lots of it. Love I love the, the lighting, yeah, the strip looks very subtle, but at the same time, dresses it up very nicely. Even the storage you have underneath here, very thoughtfully placed. You gotta remember 20 foot without a slide too, and you can see how much room I have in here. It, would, it makes a great yeah. seating area too, because so, you can sit back in the corner, you can stretch out, you have great views in the back. So when you back into a campsite, you're gonna have the big windows on the side, large window in the back. Absolutely, it has a very comfortable, open, inviting interior. You don't feel claustrophobic at all, even though there's no slides. We're also putting an in-command system in here. This will be for your uh, monitor panel. This will run your slide out or your uh, awnings on the side. If you have like uh, stabilizer jacks, 
this is going to run your jacks as well. So you can control this from your smartphone app or you'll be able to work with any of the new GM trucks that have the in-command system built into those as well. Correct. We have our settings here, our jacks, our lights. Uh, and you just push the button here. The rear jacks, you'd push the button for in or out. So lowering them, turn it off here. You have a little passcode when you turn it on. It's a great system. We're putting them in a couple of our trailers to try, these, try mm -hmm. them out. Again, very very popular in the industry. Here. Absolutely. So we're getting a lot of calls for that. Well, one more time, model number of this unit? It's going to be the 2075 non-slide Lance Travel Trailer. Okay. When can people expect to possibly see this in dealerships? We are going to try to get them out. We'll definitely have them out for the shows um, starting January. We should have some available uh, late November, December possibly. Okay. So by the end of the year? Correct. Oh, perfect. Well, again, I really appreciate your time. I've been wanting to hunt this thing down and take a look at it. Maybe before I leave, I can take a look at a uh, at one of your truck campers back there if you have some time. Sure, you bet. Sounds good. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We will talk to you again very soon.